Hi, my name is Andrea Simmons and I'm the founder of the Australian Anti-Ice Campaign. The Australian Anti-Ice Campaign was founded in order to raise awareness and educate our community, particularly youth, on the dangers of the drug called ice. You see, eight years ago I was introduced to an ice pipe. I had no idea what it was and I certainly had no idea what it was about to do to me. It was introduced to me by somebody that I cared about, somebody that I trusted and had known for 13 years. And I really didn't think it was a big deal to have a bit of a puff of a little glass pipe, not knowing the entrapment of the hell that it was going to take me to. But I spent two years um, entrapped in a turmoil of hell. I took from me everything that I owned. It separated me from my family, from my friends, from my work, and from myself. ICE took me to a place where I was having severe mental health issues. I was suicidal. I was in psychosis. And I was locked down um, away from society in what we call ICE world. It was a really scary place to be. And I don't wish that upon my worst enemy. I had a supernatural encounter with God that helped me come back um, to home and, and lock myself in a room so that I can start thinking straight again. After a year and a half of recovery, um, I was asked to speak in a school and to share what ICE did and stole from me and how, how ICE had left me scarred for life with kidney and heart issues and memory retention problems. And when I did that, I saw the impact that lived experience journey can have on explaining the realities of ICE. And AARC was birthed in order to unveil that enemy, not, not only to the community, but specifically to our youth, who are at high risk of being offered this drug today. ICE is a global issue. It is affecting many, many countries, many communities, but specifically Australia, with the highest ICE users per capita in the world. Every day I wake up and I think, how many more kids are going to be offered this drug? How many more lives are going to be stolen? How many more families destroyed? And what are we doing about it? AARC are educating youth in schools, in high schools across our nation. We're raising awareness through events and campaigns. But we're also helping people that are in ice addiction and wanting help. We help them create a pathway into detoxes, rehabs and recovery. Every life is valuable. Everyone is somebody's brother, sister, mother or loved one. Nobody deserves to be stuck in hell. And we're asking you to help today. As community-minded people, you can help make a difference. I'm going to introduce you to Glenn Ivers, who has been a huge part of our organisation for the last four years and he's going to explain to you about how you can help. There's various ways that you can get involved but together in unity we can put the freeze on ice in our nation. Thanks very much Andrea. I first became involved with the Australian Anti-Ice Campaign after a ridiculous number of young men that I'd coached as kids at a rugby league club either ended up in prison or with chaotic lives and severe mental health issues as a result of using ice. At the time when ice came into that club, nobody in the club, particularly the young people, had any idea what it was or the impact that it would have. And certainly the leaders within the club, including myself, had no idea how to get any support for the people that were affected. 
I truly believe that if the Australian Anti-Ice Campaign's Community Partners Program had been around back then and that club had been participating, then life could have been a lot different for a lot of those young boys. Now, before I get into explaining how the Community Partners Program works, I just want to take a minute or two to just touch on the extent of the problem that we face with ice use in Australia right now. In 2015, the National Ice Task Force reported that proportionally, Australia uses more methamphetamine than almost any other country and that the number of users continues to grow. The National Drug Strategy Household Survey estimated that in 2007 over 100,000 Australians were using ice. By 2013 that figure had jumped to 200,000 and by 2019 we had 300,000 Australians using one of the most addictive and destructive drugs known to man. So how do you possibly begin to address such a huge problem? Perhaps part of the answer is to actually do something different. Over the past eight years, the Australian Anti-Ice Campaign has developed high-impact education, training and support services, with the critical point of difference being the use of people like Andrea who have lived through the hell of ice addiction. Workshops have been delivered in high schools to children engaged in the youth justice system, online through the School of Distance Education as well as in prisons, mines and other workplaces. We've trained and equipped hundreds of people to help others who are struggling with ice addiction and our lived experience buddy program provides one-on-one -on -one mentoring and connections to support services nationally. Our challenge is to make these services accessible to all Australians. AAIC's Community Partners Program has been developed in line with recommendations of the National Ice Task Force as one way for us to try to meet this challenge. The task force identified an opportunity to use community-based initiatives to empower local residents to become active players in the process of community change. The task force also found that communities either don't know what to do or don't have sufficient resources to develop a response. The AAIC Community Partners Program simply provides education, training and support services to equip community groups to become active players in the process of community change. We know we can't solve this problem on our own but we can do our part knowing that every person that we can influence to say no or not even once if ice is ever offered to them and every person that we can help find recovery from ice addiction is a huge victory, not only for the person themselves, but for their family, their friends and for the broader community. The education component of the Community Partners Program includes a community workshop, an AAIC e-book and membership of a Community Partners Facebook group. The workshop is an opportunity to get your community together, including children, grandchildren, nephews, nieces anyone who's in any way connected to your community and have an experienced AAIC presenter deliver a 75 minute workshop in which they weave their own story of ice addiction and recovery into an evidence based interactive workshop. We believe that every teenager in Australia needs to experience this workshop and if they can do so in the presence of their parents or someone they respect, for example their coach, as the beginning of a real and informed conversation on this issue, then that is a huge added bonus. The e-book is a video based online resource, again designed for parents to sit down with their teenage children and have a discussion about this issue. It is however also designed to equip as many people as possible within the community with knowledge to effectively act as ambassadors for AAIC in promoting our not even once message. Access to an AAIC Facebook group gives community partners an ongoing connection to AAIC and our support services and the ability to participate in AAIC events such as our annual Walk Against Ice event. The training component of the Community Partners Program is a two-hour video-based course, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Interventions, developed by Optimal Health Group's founder and CEO George Patricki. This course gives people an understanding of the integrative holistic model for dealing with people in addiction, the cycle of addiction, the stages of change, and how to do a brief intervention to help a person weigh up the costs versus the benefits of their addiction. This training is designed to help parents of teenage children who may be in the early stages of experimenting or being exposed to drugs, family members struggling with a loved one using ice, leaders within community groups who want to be equipped to help others within their communities, and anyone struggling with addiction of any kind including alcohol, tobacco or gambling addictions. The support component of the Community Partners Program involves providing a direct line of communication and the ongoing support of AAIC's lived experience buddy, Peer Support Program. This support includes family support, 
to strengthen families and equip them to help a loved one who's using ice, recovery coaching to encourage and support people seeking recovery from ice addiction, and access to support, established relationships to streamline the process of getting people the help they need, including detox and rehabilitation services. We want your club, community organisation or faith-based group to be a group of people who understands ice for what it really is, an insidiously addictive and poisonous chemical concoction that ultimately and often rapidly destroys the physical and mental health of almost every person who becomes addicted to it. We want to equip you with some skills and tools to be able to reach out to people within your community who are in need and the capacity to refer those people to AAIC for support. As I said at the start, we know we can't solve this problem on our own. But we also know that every person that we can convince to say no or not even once if ice is ever offered to them and every person that we can help step into recovery from ice addiction is a huge victory, not only for the person themselves but for their family, for their friends and for your community. So please get involved with the Community Partners Program and help us make a real difference. Thank you very much.